What is Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black Gucci. Got three long face, skinny body, and we are back. Still black with some more fire. Boruto manga related content. I'm doing a video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. Share the video to friends. And let's hop into the business. Boruto spoilers. Two blue Boruto chapter four has been going crazy these last few days. Yes, Sersky. Nine mountains and eight seas make one world. One thousand worlds make one chillier cosm. One chillier cosm to the power of three. And there's nothing I can't cut. Okay, in my previous video, I went over the initial spoilers we got released thanks to my guy Abdul Zodak. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Abdul. He's always be coming through with the translations, with the scans. You know, the full chapter was fully translated and released on OP scans. But y'all know the dealio when it comes to your guy, Black Uchiha. Wait until the official release drops before I give y'all my full review. And nine times out of ten, I'm gonna wait for the official release to drop before I even read the full chapter. So I know some people will read the full chapter on OP scans and then wait for the official drop to come out and then read it. I like to savor what I can, so I just went over the spoilers. I'm like, I'm not gonna read a fully untranslated chapter if I'm gonna read the official release at the end of the day. So I'm gonna just wait till the official drops come out on Monday. But we still have a lot to talk about in terms of the contents within chapter four of Two Blue Vortex, bro. From the four new villains popping up, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if they did that on purpose. Chapter four, four new villains. You know, the fact that Amato still has not been seen, lest it be that I just haven't seen the full context of spoilers and maybe a model popped up somewhere in the chapter but a model has not been seen and also a, a kibi or you know what i'm saying shout out to my shorty delta the number one shorty in the hidden leaf village right now shout out to delta they have not been seen it's very crucial some questions have been answered we know where my guy kasha koji's at we know what my guy sasuke is doing and we know essentially to a degree what boruto has been up to yeah, over the last three years right so a whole lot of things have been going down from uh my guy cold leaving boruto in the dust in the middle of the chapter Boruto leaving Kawaki in the dust. Big sorrow to Uchiha with her big Uchiha vibes pressing on his bum Kawaki like yo and I ain't gonna lie bro just based off of the spoilers that I seen Sarada you spouting the wrong things you spouting oh we gotta help Boruto oh aren't you in the Otsutsuki just like Boruto so why you wanna kill Bo man fuck all that nigga you're not Naruto's child like you're not Kawaki your last name is not Uzumaki nigga we don't know you like she needs to start saying the right things like she's saying things she can always like you're beating a dead horse nigga fuck all that Boruto we need to really help him Boruto is truly beating up cold so why didn't we question why I was Boruto the one beating up Cole, asked Ada, she saw the conversation, she's, I ain't gonna lie, she's saying some valid points, but it's like, that nigga is not Naruto, I understand, I understand she come on, ah, uh -uh, yeah, yeah, but he's not Naruto, as much as she's emphasizing Boruto is innocent, fuck Boruto is innocent, Kawaki is not an Uzumaki, that's what she, that she's fighting on the wrong side of the case right now, but you know what I'm saying, shout out to Sari, the Big Uchiha vibes all day every single day but let's get to it man boruto sensei you know what i'm saying boruto's time skip sensei my guy sasuke the original format for this video i was going to talk about kashikoji of course i was going to talk about sasuke i was going to throw in the mix my guy momoshiki but with these spoilers everything has been thrown into the loop just scrap the whole entire original idea like we're going to get to whole momoshiki topic in another video for another day let's focus on the two right now and and, and a couple of questions that can be asked just based off of the premise of the spoilers that we got right how long has Sasuke been a dream and how long has Boruto been helped by Kashikoji those are the two main things I want to know so did Sasuke and Kashikoji come across each other all three of them came into cahoots and then somewhere along the line two years ago Code is battling Sasuke Boruto and Kashikoji maybe Kashikoji is doing the recon Code and Sasuke I mean Boruto and Sasuke is on the front lines Sasuke got caught slipping turned into a tree now his favorite time of the season is autumn and fall with all the leaves you feel me and now Kashikoji is like dang I know a couple few ribbit frogs that we could hop back you know what i'm saying cook some stuff up get a little sage more get a little flying roger and getting a little to a mix you know what i'm saying then we, we back at it we gotta hurry up and knock this thing out i feel like kasha and koji has been trying to prevent the ten tails catastrophe since the jump he wasn't it was like jigen ah uh, ah uh, cuckoo cool. he was worried about like the the karma itself like how does that develop right you know what i'm saying let, let, let's let's get to that right i need to take down jigen now mind you it could be all that after jigen left him for dead after akash koji escaped with his life he came across a couple of big ass revelations maybe it's not momoshiki showing boruto the truth maybe kasha koji the one who came dropped the nine on boruto like yo 
I know some things. Don't ask me how, but I know some things. And just based off of the way this man code is moving, it's not about to be looking pretty for the ninja world. And we see what they mean because these 10 tails are popping up with personalities, personas, characteristics, and even abilities and powers of previous characters we've seen before. They're resembling Ishiki. They're resembling Jigen. They're resembling a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? I said Moegi. Some people say Ada. Some people say in Delta. I even seen a few say Akibi. And honestly, all of them are justified. They're resembling Sasuke. They're resembling Bug. I said overhaul from My Hero Academia because of the outfit with the dude who's claiming the bug allegations. But it's a whole lot of crazy that's going down, a whole lot of interesting intricacies that are occurring throughout the chapter. And honestly, just keeping it a buck, aside from chapter one because of the hype and the form of weight we had to go on, if we were to be keeping it like 100% real, boards will never went on a break, it probably went through some flashbacks and then dropped into the time skip. This would be the best chapter just because chapter one was so hype, everybody was waiting for it. Me, probably chapter one would be the best chapter for me. But this probably is the best chapter, the best spoilers, you know what I'm saying? The best revelations we've gotten. I'm talking about since the mask came off Kasha Koji face, bro. You y'all know that's one of my favorite chapters. Kasha Koji versus Jigen slash Ishiki is the best fight in Boruto Naruto Next Generation, hands down. Anime is a whole nother different discussion for another day, but in the manga, best fight hands down, anticipation, build up, and action, all in one, crazy best fight, and now this chapter, bro, and I ain't even get the full review yet, so I'm trying to be careful, I'm trying to tread lightly before I give too many definite opinions, too many definite, you know what I'm saying, statements and things of that nature, but like, Kashi, y'all know Kashi, it goes Sarada, some days it goes Boruto, Sarada, but it goes Sarada, Boruto, Kashi, just top three, you know what I'm saying, and uh, unfortunately Kashi, is three, but you know, two OGs up there, you feel me, but Kashi, is one of my favorite characters, so the fact that they got him training with my favorite all-time character, student, you know what I'm saying, Sasuke, student, Boruto, who happens to be my second, sometimes first favorite character, it's just a whole lot of, I'm, I'm here. I'm eating. Niggas talking about some Sasuke's fans in the mud. I'm, I'm, boy, I'm in the sun. I'm shining. Fuck you. All right. Hey, if they packing Sasuke, I said I was going to get an RIP Sasuke shirt. We're going to have to put my dude Sasuke on a shirt. They better do it respectfully. But I like, they took Naruto out the story. They took Sasuke out the story. But in terms of the spoilers, um, Boruto learned some real crazy things. Not just how, how did he come across Kashikoji? How did Kashikoji come across Boruto and Sasuke? I want them to go into the flashback. What caused Sasuke to be in the current predicament that he's in, the current state that he's in, and how long has Boruto had to do these things, whether it be on his own, whether it be Kashikoji just came along, he just jumped into the picture. What was Kashikoji doing after he left against Ishiki? Where did he go? Did he go straight to Mount Miyaboku? How did Boruto learn to fly in Rajin Jutsu? You know, it's all of these great great questions and I don't think we have any small things that can give us hints at the answers but a lot of speculations that we can put the pieces of the puzzle together from things that occur within the last manga and Naruto's next generations comparing it to two blue vortex because we know Kashi Koji um he left he reversed some in his way out of there and that was the last time we've seen him it's been almost over three it's been over three years almost four years since we saw Kashi Koji we finally got a glimpse of this guy we finally know what he's going down like what what's up like I don't need to know like it's his left leg and left arm heel if so how because we know a model has to undergo you know what i'm saying the car organization's maintenance and their bodies to make sure everything's up at them so maybe kasha koji isn't even on the front lines because that's the reason he had he don't have a model to make sure his body is running full potential so now all he can do is offer the knowledge intelligence and experience that he's gathered in order to assist both boruto and sasuke which can partially be the reason why sasuke got caught lacking kasha koji ain't at full potential you know what i'm saying he needs a model to do some tweaking up in his arms and legs then he can get back to banging and pause against the you know what i'm saying the top threats and the top enemies but until that happens kasha koji can only offer so much so probably surveillance probably recon you know probably information detail and things of that nature which is why we see how him and boruto are tag teaming on this mission to locate the 10 tails that code has so it's gonna be real interesting to see like what kasha koji's current state is not just with sasuke but what his current state is and how did he come across boruto so now with that aside what is kasha koji's current state but what happened with sasuke Will we get the flashback? Will it be a confrontation with Cole? Most likely it's going to be the confrontation with Cole. Was Kasha Koji there at the time? Did Kasha Koji come after, prior, before? Did Kasha Koji somehow help Boruto escape with his life, which is how Boruto was even able to escape? And if Boruto escaped, why not just finish off Sasuke? But it could just be in Cole's eyes. Everybody who turns into the tree is bye-bye. So it didn't even matter at that point in time. You feel me? So it's a whole lot of interesting questions. And then finally, last but not least, my guy Boruto with the fly. Pulling out Lord Forbes. You know what I'm saying? Jutsu like that. Like, and, and, and shout out Minato. 
shout out to Big Minuto, Big Namikaze vibes, you feel me? Because he's still getting like, he's still getting his credit because a lot of people like to run away with the idea like, oh, we're in Boruto era. Automatically, everybody in Shippuden, dust, left behind. Nothing they, they can do would matter in Boruto era. I like how they still implement. Like in terms of power and attack policy, that's probably true. Everybody in the Boruto era, not everybody, but most niggas in the Boruto era might just molly wop Sasuke and, you know what I'm saying, Naruto in the Shippuden area just based off of power alone. But if we incorporate experience, if we incorporate skill, talent abilities knowledge you know what i'm saying then we get things like this like borto's talking about something we've seen borto probably perform some of the fastest feats in the verse probably some of the strongest and craziest feats against some of the strongest characters in three chapters in just three chapters and in that same in the same instance borto's going to talk about i'm not as talented as my grandpa and we know for a fact minato ain't molly whopping none of these otosuke high level threats based off of what we've seen from minato thus far so get some respect on my guy minato's name because it's like talent can get you so and then people like when you rewatch the and when you realize you know, a lot of these weaker niggas be winning fights you feel me so i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm not i'm gonna shy away from that idea oh boy to error automatically you know what i'm saying you throw delta even though it's kind of true you throw delta and naruto shippuden where she's stomping everybody i mean taking experience you got to take in like accountability like skills talents so you take someone like minato the fact that he's still getting complimented by boruto and boruto seeing what he's already seen he's like bro i'm not as fast as my grandpa give me a second you know what i'm saying flying roger and boom popping up on these goofy ass niggas so you know what i'm saying i feel like nigga like minato you bro you give him a karma seal so getting the clout that he deserves he might i feel like is he's his time was cut too short that nigga could have been better than naruto i'm not gonna lie his time was the nigga died at 24 bro he, like he died at 24 he was a whole kage at 20 mind you naruto 17 we seen when he was a kage level but like nigga minato popped back up in the story already mastered the nine tail five like come on he already controlled the chocolate the night like hey put some hey but listen all of that aside I'm really excited to see like more more breakdowns in terms of what went down with Boruto and his two senseis we got with Sasuke and we got with Kashi Koji. Uh, how did he come across Koji? How did Sasuke come across his current predicament? And how has Boruto been faring over the last three years in terms of his pursuit against the Ten Tails? Probably preventing the things that already happened. You know, the making of these four new villains, their drive for curiosity, knowledge, and hunger to eat Otsutsuki is about to be evolving beyond the rate that even Code himself wouldn't have imagined because now he tampered with a force and a power that he had no business tampering with so a lot of questions have been answered and a lot of questions have also been given to us as well because we still need some answers for things that have been popping up and things have yet to been answered but it's your boy black chia man let me know how y'all feel boruto and his time skip sensei it was like it's, we can't have asked for better we just need a little bit more depth a little bit more information a little bit more detail in terms of how things went down between these three characters specifically with boruto Sasuke and Kashi Koji. It's your boy Black Kachi. Let me know how y'all feel. Boruto 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 4 official chapter review coming out in a few days. I'll let you bomb. I'll let y'all back chat out. Yes, sir. Ski. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Pop up on the hips on the wrist. She said.